Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Good. Ashish. Ashish, please sit down. Thank you, sir. And just take one minute to tell us about yourself. Sir, my name is Ashish. I am from Purnia, Bihar. And I did my schooling from my hometown. After 10th, I moved to Patna and got myself enrolled in Super 30. I cleared IIT J in 2014 and got admitted into IIT BHU mechanical department. I passed out in 2018 and gave myself to UPSC preparation. So this is my second UPSC interview. And what happened last time? Sir, so, unfortunately, I could not make it to the final list last time. But you were happy with the interview last time? Sir, I was overall satisfied with my level of preparation, but I felt that scope of improvement was many. Since you are primarily a technology man, yes, sir. Hmm, Ashish, uh, the human history has been very, very closely impacted by technology. Yes, sir. Right? You can go back to the civilizational time and come through the industrial revolution and come to the contemporary time. Each time there were, there were some key technologies which determined what is called a generational jump. Yes, sir. There's a gradual jump, then there's a generational shift. Many say, and I agree, that we are again looking at a generational shift, right? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what are the technologies which are going to drive this generational shift? And what will be the salient features of the shift we are talking about? So, most important technologies which may drive the generational quantum jump are firstly, quantum computing and its applications. Quantum computing. Yes, sir. Okay. What else? Secondly, sir, the social media and social digital media, all right, yes, in the sociology part. Yes, sir. What else? And digital revolution. Thirdly, so the transportation sector is also witnessing lots of technological improvements. Okay. But can you bring it to the generic level? One means, okay, quantum computing. Yes, sir. Then in a generic sense, uh, what else? Sir, electronics industry is but at the core. In a generic term. Uh, sorry, sir, I am unable to. Uh, have you heard about, say, Internet of Things? Yes, sir. What are the ingredients of Internet of Things? Sir, first of all, there are physical devices which are connected. And what and is Industry 4.0? We had Industry 1. Yes, sir. 2, 3, and we are now talking about Industry 4.0. Yes, sir. What is Industry 4.0? Sir, Industry 4.0 is generally referring to the technological and industrial advancements which are being made on the backdrop of in the advancement in information technology and communication technology. Which means what? Can you give me some examples? Uh, for example, sir, uh, Internet of Things, Artificial right. Intelligence. Artificial Intelligence, what else? Yes. And sir, Big Data and its ap various applications. Is Big Data a consequence of Industry 4.0? or the cause for industry 4.0? Is it an input or an output? Sir, I think that it is both. It's both? Yes, sir. Can you give me how it's both? Because sir, large scale adoption of digital technologies have led to generation of massive amount of data over the India year. India is a gold mine of data. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Yes, sir. I definitely agree. Can you please explain? sir? Because over the years, we have seen that smartphone revolution and data revolution has been taken place at a tremendous pace How is in the, the country. How is the data qualitatively different from say the European data or the American data? It's a gold mine of data. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Everybody agrees. But then 
why is this gold mine and the Bra and Brazil is not Sir, or Hungary is not? First of all, we have very cheap data rates and the smartphone brand. cheap data sources. Yes, rates and sources. Yeah. So availability and accessibility has availability increased. Availability is one, all right. Yes, what sir. else? And so the government is also taking several steps. Such what as is the, what is the natural data advantage of India? Given by nature, government has done the things you have not done, I have done nothing. A nature's gift to India on mega data quality. Population. Population is one, all right. Yes, okay, what else? And second, yeah, the quality of the population. Yes, sir. And uh, secondly, sir, young population. Young population, for all right, fine. Yes, what else? And thirdly, sir, there are places in the country which are geographically more suitable for creating creation of data centers. Yes, sir. And uh, in data, what is what is more important, stability or instability? So variation. Safety, stability, and security. Variation? Ah, sir. Diversity? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, sir, I got your point now. The you got diversity point. in the population. If you got my point, then I'll pass it on to him. Ashish, you have been a brilliant student. Yes, sir. IIT in very high <laughs> grade in IIT. Already got a couple of interview calls with UPSC. And now, so we presume you are close to achieving your goal of being an IS officer. So definitely you know what are the advantages and why you want to be an IS officer. My question to you is that you know what you will gain by being an IS officer or a civil servant. What are you going to lose? What, what could be the disadvantages or the sacrifice or, or the negatives in civil service had you been a professional in the private sector? Got my question? Yes, sir. Sir, by joining civil services, I will gain immense personal satisfaction. What you are going to gain? Uh, uh, However, it's not a part of the question, it is closed. Yes, sir. Yes, what sir. you are likely to lose? However, sir, I won't say it is a loss. Sir, I won't say it is a loss. So but you are going to lose nothing. My, the question is little wide in the sense loss, disadvantages, sacrifice, compromise. We survey a highly placed professional in private sector. Sir, uh, first of all, there will be some shortcomings on the economic and materialistic gains. Be specific. What? Be specific. You know that if you are not moving in this direction, if you never to join industry straight from after IIT, 20 years down the line, where you would be placed and where you would be placed as civil servant. Come. Sir. Then tell me specifically. In, in the civil services career, I might not be able to Earn as much as my one, colleagues one and counterparts. One thing is earning. One. Yes. Done. Anything else? Second, so my colleagues and counterparts might not be facing uh, some kind of political pressure which I might have to face on a day-to-day -day basis. So political pressure is yes, a disadvantage. Sir. Undue political pressure. Sure. Okay. Yes, the pressure is always a disadvantage. I know. Yes. Next. Uh, sorry, sir. I am unable to recall. That's now. all. Oh, there are many things. Government in government service uh, merit is very rarely re rewarded. Yes, sir. Generally, promotions are by hierarchy. In private sector, you can jump. So things which cause motivation or demotivation, uh, numbers. Anyway, that apart. Next, next thing is question is why is there high level of corruption in India? When I go abroad and meet my friends there, everybody says India is high on corruption. Why is it high level of corruption in India? Sir, high level of corruption in India is due to multiple factors. First of all, sir, corruption has got normalized in the country. Sorry, has got normalized? Normalized in the country. It is not seen with that much disdain uh, as it is seen in other countries. Acceptance. Yeah, social acceptance got, is got there. Answer. Yes. There are also instances of collusive corruption in which people tend to approach government officials to get their work done fast in a faster manner. Thirdly, sir, there… So, but these, both these things mean that corruption is there. Yes, now, sir. My question is why? Why corruption is there? More corruption in India as compared to most of the world. We are very 
uh, low down in that list. We all know it. Yes, sir. around eight. Why? What are the reasons? And sir, thirdly, I feel that low low uh, conviction rate. Some kind of again. The question of conviction comes after the corrupt person is caught. Uh, my question is why corruption, sir? One reason which I can think is that sir, there is a some kind of decline in there the is? decline in the value. Decline in the values, yes, good. Yes, and sir, sense of immunity is also being felt by sense officials. Sense of impunity, that even if they indulge Kuch in such hoga. activities, yes, sir. Again. Uh, it goes in a, in an effect of corruption. Yes, sir. Nothing. That's all. And third, sir, we compared to other countries, we generally see a low conviction rate and charge. Then no conviction is a different thing. It's, yes, it's not uh, for the reason. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Uh, you are a physics student. Yes, sir. What are the application of nano physics in industry, sir? Nano physics has wide applications in industries. For example, in defense sector, it can be used to make low cost and high <coughs> lightweight armors, body suits, and equ other equipments. Similarly, in agriculture and agro based industries, uh, nanoparticles can be used for fertigation of large tracts of land with minimal inputs. And in some chemical based industries, Nano tracers can be used for tracing the flow of particles through the different systems and components. Similarly, in pharmaceutical and medical industry, nano technology has immense applications. For example, nano drug and targeted drug delivery. Okay, good. Uh, you have done mechanical engineering. Yes, sir. Of the two driverless cars models, Tesla or Apple? You are more impressed, sir. Uh, in my opinion, I I am more impressed with the technological advancement and cars of Tesla. What are the features uh, we may uh, the Tesla used for making driverless car? How is it? Uh, how they could make it mechanically? Mechanical engineering, what and electronics. What are the devices used to make it happen? Sir, Tesla has elaborately used Internet of Things and fitted its cars with oh. several sensors. Mm. Sensors is one. Yes, sir. Then, and then sir, machine learning and training of the cars okay. using data that inputs. Very good point. Mm. Then, sir. Collision control and detection, mm. so that they can detect any nearby car and avoid any kind of collision. And most importantly, sir, it has well integrated the GPS mm. in in its cars for safer and better navigation. You have done uh, okay. You were talking about quantum mechanic, quantum computing. Yes, sir. Do you think any application of quantum computing in artificial intelligence? Sir, quantum computing provides with very fast computing powers. So, in order to build artificial intelligence, we need faster computing powers and we need to solve several algorithms and train the machines in a more faster and comprehensive way. So, in my opinion, sir, it can expedite the process of getting the AI to work in a more efficient and faster manner. The limitation of artificial intelligence, which area you find artificial intelligence is limited? It has limitations. Sir, artificial intelligence is like giving the human intelligence to a machine. However, there are certain ethical concerns or value related concerns, which I think need to be addressed. That is one area. Yes. Mm. Secondly, sir, artificial intelligence is based on several data inputs. Mm. So, the kind and quality of data also becomes very, very important okay. Third, because mm. some kind of biasness in data. The, the data yes, bias sir. is there. Third one. Yes, sir. And thirdly, sir, some kind of regulation needs to be there 
okay. because uh, there have been apprehensions among certain scientific communities okay. that machines may overtake okay. the anything else humans where word artificial intelligence fails in uh, capturing let us say can we have an emma fusain or uh, einstein by artificial intelligence sir or kushwan singh sir we are still not sure of that but what do you think uh, you are not sure what do you think can creativity be an issue or not limitation or not sir on my personal take on creativity sir creativity also comes from various inputs mm -hmm. hmm for example yes sir originality you were telling it is biased with uh, human bias yes sir so original thinking is it possible by machine sir it is possible like a painter uh, painter means not uh, conglomeration from here and there and making an article recently article was published uh, taking from everywhere that is not the thing we are talking about creativity original creativity like uh, albert einstein thinking relativity can it do anyway i am still not sure that it can do but let's the things unfold sir okay <clears throat> whenever we think of modern bihar yes sir the first image that comes to my mind is litti chokha and lalu yadav do you agree to that or disagree sir to some extent those images are very much true but apart from the image of uh, apart from those images there are other aspects also which come into well, what are those mind. aspects for example sir the cultural aspect the chhat festival is much popular across the globe so chhat festival also comes in mind and beautiful madhubani paintings manjusha painting also comes in mind and then recently over the years we have seen that bihar is clocking around 10 to 12% of economic growth so the stories of economic resurgence of bihar also comes into one's mind where where bihar is lacking then if there are so many success stories why it is not coming at the national level why people are not knowing about it what should be done sir most importantly there are certain physical limitations bihar witnesses large scale floods every year which also why it is happening large scale floods sir it is happening due to multiple factors a combination of natural as well as anthropogenic factors you know, all these things have been taken care of in last 70 years your district borders koshi it yes, once sir. used to be called as the sorrow of bihar yes sir but still so many steps have been taken by the government of india and government of nepal it is still a cause of worry yes sir where do you think we are lacking sir we are ignoring the environmental aspects because for example for my district it was known as purnia that is complete forest over the years we have seen a decline of forest as well as decline of wetlands which acted as a sink for the overflowing rivers so although we are taking structural measures some kind of environmental measures also need to be undertaken what are those environmental measures we are talking about sir for example giving more room for the river so once it overflows shifting encroachments along the what is the benefit of these floods to north bihar sir these floods over the years bring large amount of silts which are very much fertile in nature hmm. so fer fertilization of the fields of farmers since fertilization of field and also sir aquifer recharge hmm. and so the fishery production also increases a lot especially during the monsoon <coughs> season due to river water cash crops in north bihar sir cash crops in north bihar are banana mango lychee and jute and you are forgetting two very important things sir again very near to your district fox nut that is called makhana and maize are also another crops and lemon yes 
Hmm? Yes, sir. Ah. You have studied in uh, Super 30. Yes, sir. How it is different from the quota institutions? Sir, most important difference which I observed after interacting with other friends who were from quota is that the involvement of teachers and the motivation of teachers was throughout. So, we had teachers coming to our hostels every day, even in the night and cater to our needs. And secondly, sir, we were never fed the solutions of any problem. So, unlike in Kota where the teachers discusses that, okay, these questions need to be solved in a particular manner. Do you think that, uh, my last question, yes, sir. do you think that the, such institutes are to be given importance at the cost of normal schooling? Why can't you teach in a normal school in a normal way? instead of going for coaching in super 30 or in quota? Okay. Sir? Yeah, physics is a physics your optional subject. Physics is a philosophy. Uh, yes, sir. There um, are some philosophical aspects. Uh, yes, sir. I agree with this. Okay. Then you tell me the electron was researched in 1897 by J.J. Thompson. Yes, sir. He says electron is a particle. Yes, sir. And he got the Nobel Prize of it. And in 1930, his son said, George Thompson, electron is a wave. He got also the Nobel Prize. Yes, sir. Then later on, it was searched that it is neither researched 1912 by the France and England simultaneously, neither it is a particle nor it is a wave. Yes, sir. So, what do you consider what the electron is actually? You will get Nobel Prize if you mm -hmm. understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Sir, Deep Rogli made a very important remark in this regard that every material particle, even us, they def we hey, What is the recent research I, I'm asking you? The recent phenomena about electron. Sir, it has been well established that it shows both particle and wave nature. Which was so just yes, changes from particle to wave or wave to particle? Sir, there are certain phenomena in which it displays particle nature. For example, photoelectric effect. There are other phenomena such as Compton effect in which it displays the wave nature. So we don't know in fact what the electron is. Sir, it is it it, it is accepted anyway, that you, have you heard the name of Stephen Hawking? Yes, sir. He could not get the Nobel Prize, though he is a great scientist, big name. What was the cause? Why did he, why did he did not get the Nobel Prize? Sir, Stephen Hawking made several predictions regarding astrophysics and outer space dynamics. However, those predictions, given the technological advancement in those times, around 40-50 years, could not be verified to a great could extent. Not be proved. Yes. Okay. That's why he could not because he is a theorist. Yes, sir. Okay. You are doing meditation. Can you tell me what is Ashtang Yoga and who invented it? Sir, the concept of Ashtang Yoga was given Eight by Patanjali. Eight steps of Patanjali. the yoga you tell me in the short. Ah, sir. Eight steps of the yoga. That's why called Ashtang Yoga. Yes, sir. So, tell me. What sir, are these eight steps? Sir, the eight names of Ashtang Yoga are Yam, Niyam, Ashan, Pranayam, Pratyahar. Okay. My last question to you. Health structure in Bihar has crumbled during COVID days. Though it has crumbled in other states also. Can you tell me what is the specification of WHO engineers to, uh, I mean the doctor and the population ratio? And what was the cause? Why it crumbled? Why the PSCs, community health centers did not work in Bihar? Sir, going by statistics and data, there, is a, there was a shortage of good magic medical institutions as well as P, PSCs across different districts of Bihar. So, shortage of facilities was... shortage or doctor shortage? What the WHO has recommended? Sir, shortage was at multiple fronts. There was shortage of hospital. There was shortage of staffs, especially the auxiliary staffs such as nurses, 
डिलीवरी पोर्सन एज वेल Ashish, I think uh, uh, only one suggestion for you. Yes, sir. Right? You are otherwise a very likable candidate. Yes, sir. From all other aspects, if you wait a bit too long, so much so that he said, "Okay, fine, next." So while waiting is a good idea, but waiting should be a few seconds. right many a times i got the impression that probably you are not answering that question yes sir yes so please improve that otherwise you are a good candidate hmm? yes sir a number 2 slightly give a bit of a push in terms of your your energy involvement in answering uh you like you you give the impression of being bit laid back in your answering don't show laid backness in your conversation look alert involved and a bit of more energy and don't wait so long yes sir ha baaki tum bade acche candidate ho aur kuch mujhe nahi kehna hm ji sir theek hai yes sir tumhe kuch puchna hai to bata sir one question was pestering me for a long time <laughs> that even in last year in the civil interviews and forest interview year given earlier yes sir Yes, yes, sir. Sir. So yeah. Hmm. So sir, the last question with the chairman generally asked is, Mr. Asish, do you want to ask anything? Hmm. So in that aspect, so what should be the? What did you ask last time? So last time, sir, I said that, sir, overall I am very much satisfied, and it was a very good experience being here. I have nothing to ask. Normally, you have nothing to ask. Yes, sir. Right. Please don't raise two uh, a set of questions for the board. Yes, sir. <laughs> Their intention is not to answer your questions. It's a courtesy, basically. Yes. We have the intention to ask you to ask us questions. Here yes. you can ask. But the board, no, they, they, this is a courtesy. If you ask something, ask it. Yes, sir. Its meaning is that you don't have to ask questions on it. Come out of it with a gentle thank you, sir. Yes, yeah, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you very much. You are very, yeah, you are very kind. You have been very kind. So yes. thank you so much, sir. Okay. Uh, I am unable to get. the duration of pause in i should take for no duration of pause in your case was bit too long and not in one or two in most questions you waited too long and you know that gives the impression as if you do not want to answer that question you yes, do sir. not know the answer so like i said he passed it on to him thinking that probably you do not want to answer this question you are thinking नहीं सोचना गलत है Absolutely wrong to think. If you do not know, तो भी सोचना गलत है. Be quick to say sorry. I don't know. Yes, sir. When you you need to think the third time, then you borrow time. ऐसा question कभी-कभी आएगा. Yes, sir. एक suggestion मैं आपको और दूँ. जैसे मैंने आपसे एक थोड़ा difficult question पूछा था corruption वाला. It's not an easy question to answer for a person sitting over there. Yeah, India में high क्यों है? Of course, the reason for it is the economic reason only. But I want you to be open and positive. Whatever you know, whatever you can think, question go away. Avoid, avoid, nigger. Yes, sir. 
और इसका सिंपल रीजन है गो बैक एंड लुक एट टू लिस्ट ऑन द नेट इंडिया अगर करप्शन में लो है तो इंडिया इज ऑल्सो ऑलमोस्ट एट द सेम लेवल इन टू अदर लिस्ट इंटरनेशनल लिस्ट वन पर कैपिटल इनकम टू द इन इक्वेलिटी लिस्ट ऑक्सफर्ड अगर दोनों को कंबाइन करो तो वेर एवर इन द वर्ल्ड दीज टू थिंग्स हैपन करप्शन इज ऑन देयर Yes, sir. In fact, somebody has done a doctorate on this subject in Delhi only, and and there is written a very nice paper. You can get it from India. Just defying that, actually, India is better on the corruption score rather than being at the bottom yes, because sir. of the values instilled here. Okay. Yes. But you are a good candidate. Okay. These three things are important. Don't wait too long. Bit of energy. इन्वॉल्वमेंट है ना थोड़ा अगर लेट बैक नहीं ठीक है yes, बाकी यू आर गुड कैंड यस सर दिस दिस इयर आल्सो आई एम गिविंग फॉरेस्ट इंटरव्यू गुड गुड ऑल राइट यस सर टेक केयर थैंक यू सर यू विल डू वेल थैंक्स